I'm here with Martin from Mashuga. We're in Hamburg. Uh, we're here for Rock Alarm. How are you going, Martin? Um, I'm getting on just fine. We're just getting into this, you know, European tour. This is our fourth show, so we're just getting into it. We were talking about that before, and uh, it's a pretty big schedule. Uh, you're going all over the place. <laughs> well, you know, it's 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 the way it always is, I guess. I mean, we've been done it, doing for this album. We started out, I guess, the album came out at, at around early March or something like that, and then we went eight weeks in the states with Ministry, and then we had a couple of weeks off and did uh, the first European run for three weeks. Then we've been doing festivals, and now this. Then we have a week off, and then it's going to be Russia, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan. And then it's going to be the U.S. again. And I bet you're pretty excited to be playing uh, some of the tracks from Obzen for, for those fans. So can you tell us a little bit about Obzen? Uh, I mean, that album has been, for us, it, it, it was um, a little bit of, I wouldn't say a step back, but a lot of people tend to pick up on the fact that we did Catch 33, which was like a monumental long song and like one big track. And now we're going back to like regular song format, which made this a more... Um, it had a more live type of feel to it, the, the the whole album. So so in the writing process, we kind of felt that, and that that's kind of cool because coming out on the road now, having Catch Thirty Three and I and whatever in our you know in our on the shelf sort of you know it feels like really nice to get back on and like go for the throat again. So so we're really excited about it. Maybe if you could tell us a little bit about the writing process, the difference between um, say Catch Thirty Three and Obzen and how that all came to came to be. Catch Thirty Three was actually more combined effort whereas uh, doing interviews now for this album people tend to think that this was more of a combined effort but um, I would say that the, the biggest difference was not how we actually work the biggest difference was the mind frame of knowing that we're going back to regular song structure format that was something that you know you we carried with us all the way it's always stressful making a new album you never know where the fuck you're gonna end up I've never heard a an artist say that they've been 100% happy with anything and uh, we're the same way there's always stuff that you need like oh we should have done that oh we should have done that but you got to you got to sit back and realize okay is this is this album coming across you know close to what we wanted it to and if the answer is yes and it is this time it, it's like okay fine and lyrically, uh, you write some of the lyrics as well. Some of them, How yeah. many? Not on this one. Though. Not on this one. No, Thomas writes. Uh, I mean, he he writes pretty much eighty percent of the lyrics anyway. He's he's way more l lyrically oriented when it's when it comes to wanting to write lyrics. I'm one of those guys who, I for instance, wrote the lyric for I, and me and Thomas co-wrote the lyrics for Catch Thirty Three, and Thomas wrote all the lyrics for Obzen. So it depends a little bit, you know. For Obzen, things were much smoother for, for one reason. When it comes to the music and the lyrics, you know, you have most of the time you have to re rewrite a lot of lyrics and, and maybe come up with new ones. But Thomas had so many for Obzen. He had like I don't know, 25 of them. So we had some new that he just kept and some old that he revised a little bit, you know, for adapting him to the songs. As the years go on and, and you're touring more and more, um, the tours are getting bigger. Yeah. Um, are you finding that easier to tour or is it it's still difficult? It's a, it's a very hard working pace. It has a lot to do with different stuff than just what's happening on stage and how much people there are and how big venues there are. There, the, I mean, there's so much around it, like what kind of bus do you have? What kind of crew are you able to afford? Blah, 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 you know, mm -hmm. like so. So there's so many factors going into that. But for us, you get you get more and more used to it because mm -hmm. you don't get stressed out about stuff that you used to do 10 years ago. We've been lucky because, I mean, I've known Thomas since I was six. And Frederick and Jens has known each other since they were like 12. So uh, when and when we finally hooked up down the road, it was like, you know, we kind of merged and we known each other for like very long time and then Dick came in like about 2004 so he's been with us a while too so all of that makes us a pretty big family and we never we tried to change as little personnel as, as, as possible just for the sake like you know we, we want to be family on the bus yeah. not fight a lot so important if you're going to be an ongoing uh, entity. Yeah. 
Look, look, thank you very much for speaking to us. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to, to add about the tour, about Obzen? Uh, buy the record, come see us live. That's about it. <laughs> great, great. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you live. Um, thank you very much. Uh, see you next time, Rock Alarm.